Christian, how you uh, feeling coming out of uh, getting a bunch of time there and in, in that game on Tuesday? How you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Uh, physically, fitness-wise, I felt I felt really good. Uh, thought I was in a good place then. Um, you know, I worked hard. I worked really hard. Our our staff did a really good job of you know preparing me for four games. I mean, to play 40 minutes on the first game back, uh, you know, says a lot uh, about the, the work that I did. But you know, the staff as well. They they really had a good good plan going into it. There was co comments from from Schmetzer a, a number of weeks ago that okay, the, the goal would be the Kansas City game, and then that got moved up to, to the Cincinnati game. Was there a moment during your rehab where where things took a turn for the better? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took a turn for the worse. I mean, rehab in general is a bunch of up and downs, and and that's my first time realizing this. Right? You you have good and bad days. There are days where you know you, you don't even feel like you want to be in because you just feel terrible, uh, and then there's other days you feel like you're on cloud nine because you feel so great, uh, and then you get humbled with that. So, um, you know, for me, you know, trying to ride that wave and, and be steady Eddie and. Um, you know, and, and the good days were really like, you know, a week and a half ago, a week and a half ago, you know, not, not being able to kick a ball pretty hard and then uh, it progressing within three, four days and, and feeling really confident about the SNC game. I wanted to ask about that. I mean, because your durability, you know, has been incredible. So how much pain were you in? And was this like the the most like in your life, I guess, that, uh, you, you know, had had surgery, injury, thing like that? Yeah, I was... I was in a miserable state. I, I got to be honest. It, it was it was a, a a pain tolerance thing where you know I, I couldn't really kick a ball and, and I couldn't sprint. Uh, I couldn't get to you know 80 85 percent of, of speed. Um, and so playing playing for a month like that and trying to help the team, you know, me being a, a selfless person trying to, to to you know contribute in any way I could. Um, and then they got to a point where, you know, I couldn't even practice. So, um, yeah, it was it was a difficult decision, and you know, I'm, I'm glad I made it because I came back really fast, and I feel great. Uh, and and hopefully, you know, we could we could make a push for the playoffs, and you know, the, me get up to speed uh, very very quickly. So when you say a month, are you talking like the Atlanta game, or like what like game like where it was really like I just I'm not gonna be able to do myself. Yeah. I, we, we played against uh, Nashville. I shot the ball. I felt a pop. Um, and then after the Nashville game, I think it, it basically was a month until we played um, Salt Lake, I think. And I uh, kicked another ball. I felt a pop on the other side. So, um, yeah, it was it was a matter of a month or so. And then, you know, taking six weeks to, to you know, essentially a week for to decide on surgery and then five weeks to, to, to rehab. So. You know, it was quite a quite a bit of, uh, of time where, where you know I wasn't feeling 100. percent Did you? Was there a point where you were playing where you were becoming conscious of the possibility that you were sort of doing more harm, not even not even just to yourself, but maybe even to the team uh, by kind of put that you sort of had to make a decision where you took yourself out of it a little bit. Yeah, there's always thought processes because I wasn't at 100, percent right? You'd, you you. You always want to help the team, but but to a certain extent, right? Where you're not kind of um, uh, tearing your body apart and, and you know not really doing yourself any favors or your or your team any favors. So there was a point, and honestly, it was until I, I would say surgery time where, where I was just like I where I couldn't train anymore as, as well as I could have, and you know I got to a point where I needed to see a specialist. So it really wasn't until then, but I definitely noticed you know a drop in performances and. Uh, you know, it was, it was difficult to, to hold myself accountable when you know it, it's it's hard to 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 play at 100. percent So um, it, it's good that it's all over with now, and, and that I'm back uh, to my normal self. What kind of feedback were you getting from like the physios, the team, like the team uh, medical folks like, yeah. during the time during that whole? Yeah, it was a pain tolerance thing where how much you can uh, tolerate, right? And, and if you could play through it, you know, a lot of people have gone through this and. Athletic pubalgia, you know, happens to, to soccer players all the time, and you know you're doing rehab simultaneously, and you're hoping that it goes away with time. Uh, and you know we limited the amount of, of practice time and all that stuff that that you know can can certainly hurt it. So uh, we're doing everything possible to to you know, 
avoid surgery and, and, and hope that it goes away, but it got to a point where, you know, I just couldn't do that anymore. How um, concerned are you about World Cup and, and that roster, making that roster? You know, it, it's certainly on my mind. I wouldn't say it's uh, something that I'm, I'm thinking about all the time because, you know, you've got to control what you can control and, you know, that's, that's playing well, being fit, uh, good, being in a, in a good state of mind. Uh, look, the decision is going to be made by Greg and the, the rest of the coaching staff. And I want to make it difficult uh, by competing at a really high level and, and you know, making, making my case. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to control what I can control, and that's, you know, getting back to full fitness and, and ending the year on, on a really strong note and making a push for the playoffs. Do you think that if you were, um, you know, played a, a big role in the fact of getting you guys to the playoffs, do you think that would say a lot for for you, your fitness, and all that as far as that goes? Making those? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I, I worked really hard to get back, and, uh, you know, of course, the World Cup is part of the reason, right? You, you want to be able to play in competitive games before uh, going into camp and, and potentially being selected. So the more games I play, the more minutes I play, uh, if we can get into the playoffs and play competitive games, yeah, I, I, I think I give myself a, a better chance of, of making the squad, but uh, I, we have to make that push now, right? Uh, we, we've been talking about it for, for a month now, and uh, if, if I can do my part and, and help the team in any way, uh, you know, I, I think it'll mean a lot to, to Greg and the coaching staff, but the fact that I already played, you know, 40 minutes or so in my first game back, I think, uh, shows a lot to, to, the, to the staff. To go to the opposite of scenario, regardless, let's say that you were not going to make the playoffs, you know, how comfortable are you with everything that you've showed Greg so far and everything you've done this season uh, to, you know, have your name be up there uh, to go to Qatar? Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, he understands that, that, you know, I understand the system really well, that, you know, I'm good around the guys. Uh, I'm going to train to, you know, the... the, the the best of my abilities each and every training I think he knows what he's gonna get is what I'm trying to say uh, you know he knows what 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 I bring to the team uh, and then it's just a matter of I think showing you know if, if I'm fit enough right if I'm if, if I'm back to my normal self uh, and you know I, I feel like I'm getting there and you know that's gonna be important down the stretch uh, but Look, it's, it's it's the World Cup and everybody's trying to compete for, for those spots. And, you know, I'm just another guy that's that's trying to do so as well. Did you get any communication from Greg? Like, if you were to if you were healthy, you would have been on the roster or not this time around? Uh, not necessarily communication like that. Uh, but, you know, there was communication between myself and Greg about surgery and, and, and whatnot and, you know, the timelines that, that surgery brought. And, you know, it, it was... You know, I, I think I, I, I wanted everybody's opinion going, going forward uh, if I was going to, to make that decision on surgery. And uh, I'm glad I did so because, you know, I, I felt m more comfortable. And, you know, I understand my role with, with the national team. I might not play 90 minutes, um, but if I can uh, keep the level of, of training sessions and uh, be ready when my name is called upon, um, you know, that that's... That's kind of the role that I have there. So if, if I'm not 100, percent then um, you know he, he might as well not take me. So uh, that that's I think that was a decision that that also went into getting surgery. Well. So, um, as far as the, were you, did you have the opportunity to watch the U.S. Uh, friendlies? And there was some uh, critique that there wasn't a lot of heart shown, or I don't know what you like kind of gathered from that. If there was some critique about it, negative. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it wasn't our, our best performances, um, you know, against uh, Saudi Arabia and, uh, and Japan. You know, I think two disciplined squads, um, you know, it, it, in, in, a, in a stadium that was, you know, maybe 10% full. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a, a difficult camp, I think, you know, and, and you know, I think it's, it's, it's okay to be honest at times, but, you know, I think the foundation is set, right? And I think that, uh, you know, there's there's more positive than negative going into the into the World Cup. Uh, you know, be, being part of the national team where you, you know I think the average age was 23, and we're the youngest squad going into the World Cup. There's always going to be nerves. There's always going to be butterflies. Uh, and and you know, I, I think the beauty of our team is that you have a bad game like that, and 
and the young guys are still fearless going into the next one. And you know, I think that's that's what the the, the positive um, that that we're gonna get out of out of you know the squad that that we have is that they're gonna be fearless and confident going into the World Cup. Uh, and look, there's a lot of a lot of a lot of time between the World Cup and now, and you know, guys are gonna find form, guys are gonna dip in form, and um, you know, it's important that 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 uh, everybody kind of finds their rhythm going into the World Cup as well. Do you, do you kind of find yourself, like, I don't, I don't, do you find yourself saying things like, whatever happened in these friendlies, like, literally doesn't matter because all that matters is what happens in Qatar? Uh, is that, I don't know, is that a mantra that uh, is useful or is it a, or do you, can you not afford to throw away, you know, ignore any performance? No, I, yeah, I don't think as a, as a national team, as players, you ignore performances. You know, I think it's important to acknowledge uh, what we did right, what we did wrong. You know, in the Japan game, we kind of f played into their hands. You know, we, we weren't mentally, physically where we needed to be. Uh, you know, I felt that uh, you know, we're so athletic, right? And we should have used that to our strengths. You know, and then the, the Saudi game, you know, we, we can talk about like trap games but you take everything you take the, the, the negative and, and learn from it and I think that's important to, to do and I think Greg does a good job of that uh, understanding and realizing what we did wrong and and uh, and improving on that so I don't think you you kind of throw the game away and 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 um, and, uh, and look forward to the, to the World Cup because you know you, you have to embrace the struggle as well embrace what what you did wrong and, and correct those mistakes so uh, I think the coaching staff, you know, the, the, the federation, you know, all together will do a good job of, of you know, correcting those mistakes and, and getting better as, as we get on.